Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to this tutorial video. Today's video is going to be about symbols in Adobe Illustrator. All right, now guys, sometimes symbol, okay, okay, firstly, symbols people are supposed to be pre-made objects or shapes that are already present for you to use them in Adobe Illustrator. So say sometimes, you know, when you are working with Illustrator and you know, you feel that something is really hard or something, you know, may take a lot of time for you to create, you can take help of symbols. Like for example, guys, you know, you are designing some, say something like, um, so something like a brochure, you know, for, um, for say a flower shop. Okay. And you feel that there are supposed to be quite a few flowers on the brochure. And you know, you feel that designing all those flowers is going to take a lot of time. So for saving time guys, you can definitely use symbols. Okay. And that will get the job done and they definitely look very good. Okay. So let's take a look at how can you work with symbols. Okay. Now, firstly, we're going to have the symbols panel out, uh, on your computer for working it uh, for some of you it may be hidden okay uh, some of you it may be uh, on your uh, illustrator uh, for those of you who do not have symbols panel out go to windows and go right below where you see the uh, name symbols and just click on it and you can see that symbols automatically come out now for uh, some of you guys lot of the panels you know like a lot of like one panel with lots of tabs may come in but i, will, I have already pulled out my symbols out so it's kind of, you know, hanging there out alone. Okay. So these are guys, some basic symbols. Okay. Actually, uh, we have guys, uh, at least illustrator CS six guys has lots of symbols. You, you know, you can just, if you want to check all of them out, you have to press this options button, uh, panel options, just click on it and go to open symbol library and guys take a look at this. This is all the different kind of types of symbols that are available to you. See, sometimes you are designing, um, say some visiting cards, celebration, you know, you can use this symbol and I'm pretty sure, you know, you guys can find some real nice use and some good ideas. Check it out. We have the depth, you know, we have the shadows and you know, we have everything, man. And it's already created for us. So all we need to do is we need to click on it, select it and bring it out onto our canvas and you are good to use it. I press, I'm going to select it and I'm going to hit delete. Um, so therefore symbols are very good and useful. I'm going to close this window now and this, and you know, guys, now let's take a look at some basic symbols that right now I have opened in my symbols. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to select this X, um, button symbol, I'm going to click on it and I'm going to pull it outside. Okay. Now, right now it's looking very tiny. So I'm going to increase the size. And that's one thing that's very good thing that you can do with symbols. You can increase the size of that, of them, uh, shift alt guys, hold, hold both of these keys down and increase the size. Check it out guys. We have a good gradient fill applied. We have a good, uh, X symbol created or X shape created. We have some rounded corners and I really like this. So say sometimes, you know, if you are wireframing a website, I think this, this symbol can be really used there. And you know, guys, you don't even have to uh, uh, create a replica of it. For example, uh, say if you are actually going to use a symbol uh, in a website, okay, you are definitely put on some more buttons. And you know, all of the, all of those buttons guys need to be somewhat similar to this button. So, uh, what you can do is you can zoom into the button and firstly scale it up or down or to whatever size you want to scale. Then guys do a right click and do, um, wait a sec, what? Do right click and do ungroup. When you click on group guys, you can see that this has now been ungrouped. I'm going to click it one more time. Wait a sec, something's not right. Um, yes, of course. Yeah, see? Yeah, guys, now take a look at it. We have ungrouped it properly. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a click. I'm gonna ungroup it once again, and I can pull out this option out. So, you know, uh, if I do not like this X, uh, and I want to put some other thing, like say, like a tick mark or, you know, something like that, guys, I can create it, you know, using the pen tool. I'm pretty sure you guys not do it. I'm not going to discuss that now. Or if you guys do not know how to use pen tool, you can check one of my tutorials on Adobe Illustrator in which I have explained pen tool and you can learn that. Okay. So you, 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 you can replace the X with any other shape you want. If you want, if, if, if you do not like this, uh, blue kind of a color, you can pull that out. You just have to do the ungroup once again select it and you can change it to anything you want I can click over here I can make it red and I can put it back in great guys and you know you can now have your tick mark or you know basically anything you want to apply and I'm gonna put it back over here 
click outside i'm gonna alt zoom out i'm holding on my alt key and you'll see that the changes are applied now you can hold on the alt key and make any duplicates of it and you can start working so these are some basic things guys that you can do with uh symbols okay i'm gonna give you some good i'm um, actually I'm, I'm i'm gonna not give you um uh, what do you say ideas i want you guys to come up with your own ideas you're working i'm gonna delete these and go i'm gonna click over here and guys once again there are lots of symbols for you to work with say say if i'm working with flowers you know like i said before you know you can have lots of flowers guys some really complex shapes check it out no select it delete it and um open symbol library we have tiki and yeah check this one out this is i think pretty good i'm gonna close my window now close this one too okay so check this out this is a good plant and i'm gonna zoom it down a little bit guys one other good thing when you are working with symbols is the options that you get when you're working with symbols meaning uh say this is one symbol that i'm using okay now if i want to create lots of uh, duplicates of this okay instead of holding alt and creating duplicates and duplicates yeah of course guys you can go ahead and do it if you're really comfortable with it but i've got a fast way and that is using some tools that are specifically designed for working with symbols okay and this is going to be the button right over here the symbol spray tool uh, uh, spray, spray tool uh guys there are lots of symbols i'm going to tear off this panel i'm going to bring it out guys the first one basically uh you know draws symbols for you real fast meaning i'm going I'm to delete this right now and right now guys illustrator remembers which was the last symbol i used that was my um that was that small uh you know that plant that we were working with so if i click and if i keep drawing you'll see i've created lots of plants you know and and you know guys you cannot really do much with these symbols you know if you take a look at it from that perspective but once again guys they really really you know save time and i think they are very good so guys i would like you to go ahead and check them out and yeah that's it okay so check some uh you know let's talk about some uh, uh other tools that we have symbol shifter tool i click and if i and actually uh this my uh symbols are right now not selected so i'm gonna use my selection tool select them then i'm gonna click on this tool and this basically guys uh you know uh you know replace uh you know um what do you say you know replaces all your symbols so you know right now all my symbols were scattered around right now i'm shifting them to one place that is on the right hand side see see what i mean I press ctrl z a couple of times now okay that is good now we have the symbol scruncher tool meaning it kind of you know um pulls all the symbol all at one place you can see this guys all of them are kind of coming together once again control z all of them uh we have the symbol sizer tool so see uh so some you know if you if, like see uh, one good application of symbols is say uh when you are working with clouds okay now sometimes you may have to create lots of clouds you know one cloud will not get the job done in a specific task you know you would like to have lots of clouds so that time uh the spray tool you know all those kind of tools really come handy and you can see right now i'm using the sizer tool the symbol sizer tool i'm going to increase the size of some of these and leave some of these small for giving a very good effect now you guys get the point um then we have the symbol spinner tool this you know this basically spins the symbol meaning and you know you get a small arrow i think you guys may not be able to see it that uh, nicely and properly on to the video but if you're following along guys check this uh tool out and you'll see that there is a small arrow you know i don't know if you guys can see there's a small green arrow guys very light that actually shows you the direction in which the symbol is gonna get uh you know uh, rotated into so right now it's showing me on the right hand side you'll see that these actually gets rotated like that so uh, creating like say a really weird look you can see you can really work with these tools guys okay so you know guys there are actually lots of the tools i'm gonna, i'm not gonna uh, talk about uh all of them but yeah guys there are some really good ones like this one uh, reduces the opacity uh, this one guys uh, which one is it sustainer tool basically allows you to paint 
of the symbol that you have created right now my color is not defined I'm gonna do a double click change it to red change, change it to red so you guys can see properly what the hell what? wait a sec guys you can see this and it really is good so check all the uh, symbols out and yeah one more thing one last thing guys if you ever want to save your own symbols okay that say that you were some you were working with something and you think that it was pretty good that you have created uh, and you would like to save your file or your symbol uh, so so how can you do it so first guys let's go ahead and create something something really you know easy and random um, say a star somewhere in the center oh, my bad. okay so this was good I'm gonna change the color I'm gonna change the color of it to say black now hold on the alt key run my control C control F control C control F yeah, this is good right and say that this was something that you would like to work with so I'm gonna select it I'm gonna open my symbols panel first and then guys select your thing okay select whichever uh, thing that you have created and you would like to save it as your symbol and then guys click on this button which says new symbol click on it and you'll see that you have uh, the ability to name your symbol so I'm gonna name it star and click OK and you'll see that it gets um, that the symbol comes in over here so next time if you would like to use it you can just pull it out and put it onto your canvas or onto your projects delete right now and today's video guys was on symbols hope you guys enjoyed hope you guys learned a lot about symbols uh, please subscribe to this channel please like this video on youtube uh, please guys show me some support by liking my facebook page alright and once again guys thank you for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video please subscribe thank you